spot. So thank you so much. I'm not going to do now. Just to say thank you again for what you have been for what's done. I'm tired of it. Thank you very much. So once again, welcome to Mina. Welcome to the I was so fun to welcome Professor Adele and to Mina. I don't have to ask whether this is a person of the but I can ask whether this is a person of the They are welcome. And our brother from the future, you are welcome. Uh, it's our pleasure having you here this morning. We know that. Uh, We've been looking forward to having your presence for quite a while. Uh, we just so happy that uh, you are as many possible today. So it is a pleasure to have you. And we want to thank you uh, because um, we know the investment you have made uh, in the Western program. We consider Western as one of our flagship programs. In fact, uh, WASCAL is about the truly international program in the country, I would say, because they are the ones that have the largest uh, percentage of international students. And so we are very proud uh, of that. We are also very appreciative. We knew that even the master's program, WASCAL had to bend, bend back was to accommodate equity through the persuasive, uh, uh, what is it, uh, system uh, we appreciate it, and we also appreciate it that now that it's been upgraded. Uh, what I can tell you is that we on our own part shall continue to commit the success of the program. And we shall also work towards the sustainability of the program. We are cognizant of the fact that uh, the funding may not always come from housing, so over time we also have to work with sustainability and ensure that the interest of the program is sustained even after uh, funding is from outside. We, we can't thank uh, Apollonia enough. You know, she put her heart into this uh, almost her detriment. Uh, to the extent that if we ask her, when will you become a professor? It's like she forgot that she's supposed to become a professor. She was just into uh, Waska. So we had to push her and push her. So well, while you're working for Waska, you should also think of your own personal uh, progress. And we are happy today she's a professor. Yes. <laughs> Our colleagues have been professors almost five, six years ahead of her. So, and it's because she had been trying hard to see to the success of the Western uh, program. We uh, shall continue to provide the necessary support for Western and whatever it takes for us uh, to make sure that the program is ongoing. Because we are also proud of the products. I was in near uh, it was uh, that was November, November, October, November last year. And I met two of the, uh, oh yes, they, they were there at the conference, conference of the, uh, the South African Association of uh, Universities. And they are already working with their government. So we are proud that uh, we have products that are employable. And we on our own part will also see what we can do in trying to enhance that employability. Um, now, at the time, we were thinking that some of the best, some of the best products the university should be able to give them automatic employment. But you know, sometimes their governments may not, uh, may not allow them to remain in Nigeria. But we'll look at that again. Because we're interested in making sure that some of them, especially now that they're going to be in the age So as soon as they finish, um, I think that the university should try to protect some of them. Uh, we will do that. We will work towards that. Thank you. We are very happy. On October, in October 2012, 
after we signed an MOU with the University of Bonn, the first university we collaborated with, Waskan in general, collaborated with in, in Germany. Um, well, a lot went on before the approval, but by October 2012, we now became part and parcel of the Waskan family here. And we were given the mandate to run a PhD program, sorry, a, a master's program in climate change and adapted land use. Fully approved by Senate in such a way that our graduates are academically inclined and they come out with a degree in master of technology, climate change and adapted land use. Just a few things to show how WASCAL has been integrated into the host university. First and foremost, um, it is a fully recognized postgraduate school. And uh, apart from what PC has told you, you can see the Dean PG School is here to you know, um, participate in the program with us. And this program is fully listed in the university's postgraduate school prospectus of 20, for 2014 and 20, 2019. Um, recently, we had another retreat. And I'm sure another prospectus will come out, and you can be sure that uh, this is that. Pascal um, will still be in that prospectus. <coughs> now, one key thing I want to mention is we signed a second MOU to usher in the phase two of Pascal. And by way of showing the university's appreciation, we actually charge, the university actually charges, does not charge differential fees for Waskal students. And the reason for this is that we want to demonstrate to the sponsors that we are fully interested in ensuring that the program runs within the university and that whatever the, the gains from that can still be plowed into running the program smoothly. Um, the Waska curriculum is fully approved, and then in recently we were, it was recommended that we upgrade this program to a PhD. And then um, we organized a meeting June, in June to that effect with the International Advisory Board, with, uh, board members, where the Dean PG School and the Director of Academic Planning participated. Now the board is the court is in the court of our two um, um, key staff to push this thing through to Senate. And I'm sure by God's grace in September, at the latest October, the Senate would by God's grace approve the PhD program. The lecturers in our master's program for now uh, were drawn from the universities in Nigeria. Ghana and Germany, as well as other relevant institutions like NIMET, as well as NASDAQ. Because these are institutions that we may need to collaborate with in the bid to train our students. The project supervision is done by mostly associate professors and professors. So most of the participants in this meeting or the attendees of this meeting fall into that category. They are either guest lecturers or supervisors or board members of WASCA, associate professors and professors for a master's program. Then this was the curriculum that was approved for our master's. We have prepared one for the PhD program. Like I said, the procedure has started and by God's grace will soon end. Then uh, some of the other aspects of WASCAL that we have benefited from is the German partnership. We have a German partner university, and that is the University of Wolfsburg in Germany. Then we are working towards formalizing with the approval of um, the WASCAL management in Accra, a second uh, MOU with the University of Bonn. It was prepared, but I think we are still working on it on their side. We have done our own part, we submitted it to them, they are still working on it on their side. Then one of the things we have gained from the involvement of these German collaborators, collaborating universities, is that 
They teach our students state-of-the-art techniques, the trending techniques. So we have had um, a constant participant with whom, by the name of um, Dr. Michael Thiel, initially we had a lady from ZEF, that's the Center for Development Studies, now it's Dr. Michael Thiel. Michael Thiel also brought along with him someone else that you will see a picture very soon. Then the
across nine West African countries. And then soon, it will be 12 in 11 countries. Because we are ready to launch two new programs. One in Uwagadu, Burkina Faso, Joint Informatics, and the second one on marine science that will be in Cabo Verde. So, since then, the establishment of the Radio Science Program, we have recruited 258 students, fully sponsored thanks to EFDF. That's the federal, the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research, who is the main founder of WASCA. And right now, 195 have graduated, made up of 99 masters and 96 doctoral graduates. And six two students are still in the pipe, ready and preparing to defend their doctoral thesis. And as we have seen the example from Putina, most of the graduates from Waskar schools are employed or for masters, they are in the PhD programs. And then if you look at the round in the ministries, in the universities, in some regional institutions, in international institutions, we are proud to meet them there. And they are there for but also quality.
more expensive, more detailed research um, in areas of uh, climate change. And incidentally, uh, the new program is climate change and habitat, human habitat. We, we are very strong here in terms of human habitat. We have a sector of human settlements actually that we operate in conjunction with the UN habitat. So I believe that this center will be brought to be as strong in providing partnership and providing the necessary expertise uh, for the uh, program in Pascal. Um, as already stated by the Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Th